Well, hey, everybody. It's John Snavely. Welcome to another edition of Tucker Talks Tech. I'm here with Brian Mayo, our local tech guru. And today we're going to talk about some of the advanced features in Dropbox. Okay, so Brian, Dropbox, what is it? Um, Dropbox, uh, for those that haven't signed up, it's a, uh, uh, it's a service that allows you to sync files. Um, you can sync files just between your computer and, you know, the cloud, as you always hear talk about, which is basically just their service on the internet. And it allows you to keep your files in sync. And if you have two computers that share one Dropbox account and or your iPad or your Android phone, or iPhone, whatever, uh, all the files stay in sync on all the devices and so you have common access to them um, as opposed to having to email files back and forth, etc. Well, I know you've got something like uh, 25 glob of flops of, of data free mm -hmm. from Dropbox. How did you do that? Um, yeah, so by default, um, each time that you refer somebody, you get 256 meg. Um, one little trick that they have is if you go to dropbox.com slash edu, um, if you're in school or maybe you've got a student that's in college, then they've got a .edu email address. Um, it's a one-time just connecting it. And so you basically just say, here's my address. It sends you an email um, or your child an email with a confirmation. You click the confirmation link and that's it. And now you get double the referral space. Um, you can go to a, you can just actually invite people uh, and get uh, 512 meg per. And then there's a lot of little things you can do and they list them all. If you go to dropbox.com slash get space, it will give you all of the different ways like, you know, following them on Twitter, connecting it to your Facebook, liking their page. Um, they had a little special for, uh, that was going, I think it still is, where you can get three gig free by every time you connect up your camera, it will automatically sync the pictures of your camera onto Dropbox and they'll give you three gig of storage just for that. And you only have to do it one time technically and it will give you that three gig of space free once you have one time of getting up to three gig. So if you only upload a gig of photos, you're only going to get a gig free. But once you hit that three gig one time, then you've got it. Well, that's more than I ever knew about free storage. What are some of the other advanced tips? I mean, you're a power user. What, are, what, are, what can I do to get the most out of Dropbox? So one of the things is um, that I encourage all agents or really anybody that, that has the product is to make it the default place to store your files. Um, the reason is uh, it, Dropbox has this feature where whenever you're, you know, like when you're in Microsoft Office and it does an auto save for you, um, Every time you hit save or every time auto save happens, that little incremental change is backed up into a different file version. You don't see it, it never comes up, you know, unless you're going to go try to restore it. And, uh, but, but what it's doing is it saves every single version for you. And so that way, let's say you're working on a document, you accidentally select some, delete it, and you realize, hey, I lost part of my document. Um, for up to 30 days, you can go back and get, um, get that previous version of the document. It'll have you know, 20, 30 versions of it. And, and on that, the best way to implement that, if you're on Windows 7 or the new Windows 8 coming out, if you just go up to My Documents and hit the properties of it, you can actually change the location of your My Documents folder. I mean, you go there, you'll see, you just browse. Browse to Dropbox, create a new directory, or just move it to the Dropbox folder. So then what happens is all your office files are automatically saving there. Plus then you don't have to think about, oh, did I put that file on Dropbox? You know, I need to get to it right now on my phone or whatever. If you have an older version of Windows or you're running on a Mac, what you're gonna have to do is go into each office. If you go under the advanced settings, the preferences or the settings of each office, you know, Word, Excel, et cetera, change the default location for saving files to and opening files to uh, Dropbox. And that way, next time you uh, load up Dropbox, you, it, it becomes seamless. You don't have to think about it. And then every single time it's auto-saving, it's doing all that, you've got all your previous versions backed up. I mean, what if I'm a terrible pack rat and I just don't ever get rid of anything? I mean, can I get more? Yeah, um, it's, uh, yeah actually, interestingly, that's, that's one of the functions you can um, opt for is called pack rat. <laughs> and it's a... Uh, um, if, when you're uh, in a paid version, so if you're paying $10 a month or $20 a month, depending on how much storage, $10 I think gets you 50 gig, um, it will actually auto-save, keep every single version of every single document every time you hit save or it auto-saves forever. And the cool thing about that is it doesn't count against your space. So you get 50 gig free 
and let's say you've edited this document 200 times over a few years, all those versions, they're going to keep it forever. If you've enabled that option, that option's free. It's just you have to go in and enable to keep it forever. And uh, there's no downside because it doesn't count against your storage space. I think I should point out that there are some documents that I no longer have, and I think it's a good thing that they're gone. Some documents should not be kept forever. I'm just just saying. Sure. What are some of the other uh, What are some of the other advanced features of Dropbox? Another thing is uh, there's a product called AirDropper that I think is pretty neat, and it allows you to um, uh, send out a URL. So like if you have a file and you want to share it with somebody, you know, you can just go in and share a link and they can download it. Well, with AirDropper, um, you install it and it gives you, you can set up a URL that people can upload files to you. So let's say you've got a client or somebody that needs to get you a file, you could email them a link to your Dropbox account and that way they don't have to have it installed or anything. They click the link, it gives them an interface, they can pick the file and it automatically uploads it to you. It's a, a great add-on for Dropbox. Well, that's more than I ever thought that I would know mm -hmm. about Dropbox. That's fascinating, Brian. Thank you for sharing that mm -hmm. with us. We'll be back next week with some more interesting tips on uh, Tucker Talks Tech. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thanks a lot.